video. Today I am 26 on the 26th of February. That's right, today's my birthday. It's a Sunday for my birthday from Lewis. He's booked us into Meldrum House Hotel, which is, oh my God, I cannot wait. I have never been here to eat or stay or anything. I've popped in for vouchers before, so I am so beyond excited for tonight. And the coffee. Oh yeah, we stopped off for coffee one day and it was stunning. So we can't wait to show you what Meldrum House has to offer. So we've got dinner, bed and breakfast, which is sick. There's no spa facilities or anything here. There's beautiful grounds. Um, and again, it's just like another wedding venue in Aberdeenshire, cannot wait. Um, so if you're excited for this video, remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button and you can come to Meldrum with us. Don't wanna wake up. I might be dreaming I might be dreaming You're stirring things up My heart is beating My heart is beating I won't let go I can't say no My heart is yours So I say here we go Are you ready for this room tour? What room are we staying in? It's an estate deluxe, I wanted to say. Estate deluxe or something. Or is it not a king estate or something? No, I think it's estate deluxe. Estate is definitely in the word, but OMG. Let me show you this room. Right guys, we actually have our very own lobby. Look at the floor space of our very own lobby. So this is it, massive wardrobes. And then we've got some teas and coffees. Don't know what that is. And then look at this room. Look at this room. So we, we've got all this floor space. We've got a little desk here. And then my sister bought me those balloons earlier today. Happy birthday girl, which are really sweet. Um, this bed is stunning. And we even have a TV. You can't really really see it that well because of the lights behind. I've got this little journal. Look at that bed. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then if you come around here, we've got a little table and chairs, which is nice. We actually have brought a bottle of champagne with us that Lewis got from his work for doing very well. So I think we're going to have this later. And then Lewis is just sitting oh. chilling Stop. on the you sofa. Me off guard there. Look at the bed. So he's just sitting on that sofa. Just chilling like a villain. And then look at these views. Look at those views. To absolutely die for. And guess what? That's just one window. We have it the whole way around the whole room absolutely stunning i can't believe it and then if you thought for one second that that view would have been the bathroom then you're a fool look the golfers on the golf course this is our bathroom this beautiful mirror sink and then this massive shower that looks right out onto here, but there is a blind, fear not. And then this little toilet in here. This room is stunning. I'm so happy with this. Birthday vibes. <laughs> and I am here for it. I think right now, what we're gonna do is, there's like little dome bars outside. I can actually show you them. I think we're gonna go down there just now and have a drink in the bar in the dome. And then, what's it called, Blue? Yeah, the Titan Sky Bar. That's what it is. We're going to head out there um, and have a drink and join us for that. It looks so pretty. I can't... I'm shocked. Thank you so much, Lewis. You're welcome. This is absolutely crazy. I've been dying to stay here for so long. Look at his little scooter. Yeah. What is it called? 
This trolley. This golf trolley cart. all the way over there, just driving itself. I really have seen it all. <laughs> right, here we are. These are the little domes I was telling you about. I think they are about £60 to hire. It's a shame we came in the dark. <laughs> it's a shame that we can't see any of the lovely views. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. So yeah, you're £60 to hire them without actually any food or anything. So yeah, and then here's the Titan Sky Bar, which is so stunning. We're just going to go and have a drink in here. So we're in the Titan Sky Bar. I asked for the jungle bird, which is like rum and lime and smells so limey. It's so nice. Limey, yeah, so that's fine. If you're Lion King fan, you know. It's so strong. In a good way. Yeah, that's really nice. Do you want to try it? Yeah, we're getting a bro. Well, you've just drunk half of it, so surely you've got an opinion. Mm. <laughs> it's really nice, actually. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice in here. I'm just soaking on all the atmosphere. Really pretty. Cheers, Lee. Happy, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I was in Dublin, I found a pair of Gucci sunglasses that I really liked and I can't get them out of my head. And I've just tried them on. Um, <laughs> and I can actually try them on on um, online. Let me show you. <laughs> I just like feel like all of a sudden I don't like them. <laughs> oh look, there's the girl with them on. Anyway, so these are them. They're Gucci. And they've got like the red and green around the sides. And then, that's them actually on. They look nice on her. <laughs> oh, it's Kate Ferdinand. Oh, it's Kate. <laughs> it's Kate and Dio. Of course they look nice on her. <laughs> Right, we're back in the room. Lewis is wanting to watch the Man United and Newcastle final, cup Wembley. final. Wembley. 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 So that's oh, what is Man United, United and we're, we're going, going to Wembley. Wembley. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Lewis is wanting to watch that. So we're going to do, well, he's going to do that. I said earlier, Lewis is just rocking his job. So got a lovely bottle of champagne. So we've decided to take it with us tonight. So we're just going to open that just now and have it. I'm probably going to sit here and enjoy it while he's at, watching the football. And I'll enjoy it here as well. <laughs> yeah. Just going to... I do mind, darling. Whoa. Cool. Right. Champagne, sir. Oh yes, please. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. So it's about four o'clock, or is it half four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's about half past four now. I just want to soak in all these views because it won't be long before it's dark because it's obviously it's February. So I'm just going to sit here. I thought I would film a little what I got for my birthday. And when I say little, it is just going to be a little one. So we can do that. You've already, already filmed some of it, your room tour. <laughs> my room tour. So first up for my birthday, I asked my mum and dad for Gucci perfume. I really like Chanel Mademoiselle. I think that's what it's called. Um, Lewis got it for me for my birthday last year in London and the 100 mils has lasted me this whole time. And I really, really love it. But I really want to try this. So this is a Gucci Flora. Um, I was desperate to try this. I think... My friend Mel got it and she was wearing it for a while and I was just obsessed with it. Gorgeous garden, gardenia. Gardenia. Gardenia? I don't know. I don't know, but it's lovely. <laughs> Look how cute the little bottle is. So I got this perfume from my mum and dad and I've got some dollars to take with us because I've said before, we've got a honeymoon in May and we're heading to New York, Vegas, LA and San Fran. So... <coughs> <laughs> so we've got um so I've got some dollars for that. 
Then I went by Cam and Laura's house before coming here and they gave us some dollars as well to put in the honeymoon fund, which is really fun. Lewis has obviously taken me to this gorgeous hotel room. And then it was our wedding anniversary a few days ago, a couple of days ago when I headed off to Dublin. So he bought me this most gorgeous necklace ever with this cute little pearl on it, which was stunning. So I've got that as well. And then today I had breakfast with Bryony and her boyfriend, Mike. So they gave me a meal voucher for Giddy Grill. It's like this new restaurant. I actually think it's next to Sits by Nico on Union Street in Aberdeen. And um, yeah, it's like Lewis went. You really liked it. Yeah, thoroughly well, enjoyable. I've been to the Dundee one as well at the Quads. What did you have? I had macaroni cheese with a jerk chicken fillet. And it was magic. And you had macaroni cheese, which you said was amazing yeah, as well. Not quite as good as Muggy's Grill, but Giddy's right up there. Oh, so Lewis prefers Maggie's Grill to Giddy's Grill. But I'll insert a photo of what Lewis had at Giddy Grill. I'm excited to try it. I'm sure they had a big fish menu as well. They did have some fish, yep. Yeah. Fish. <laughs> that probably has some, some fish off of there. And then also a little surprise gift from Bryony. This Clinique bag. I was like, oh my god. It's actually quite funny because Bryony wasn't Bryony isn't into skincare or anything until like I got her all this stuff at Christmas and she's not into like makeup or anything. Like if Bryony knew I spent £35 on Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, she would probably slap me across the face and tell me to get a grip. Like that is not her. Like I'm sure Bryony still uses like Rimmel London, which again of course is fine, but she would never spend money on like expensive foundation or makeup or anything so when i saw this clinique bag i was like hmm okay so it's gorgeous and then inside was this um like makeup set so i've got mascara and then i've got like a liquid eyeliner and then some eye cream which is cool i really like an eye cream to be honest like i have an eye cream but i don't know if it works but I still put it on every day and still buy it when it runs out. God, this is tiny. This is going to be the most adorable thing. Yeah. Look at that. Can you actually deal with how small that is? That is so cute. So this is my little eye cream. Reduces circles and puffs. doesn't smell of anything that was funny because I actually opened yeah and inside I also got this little daily cleansing balm and look how small it is as well it's so cute doesn't smell of anything oh like doesn't have a scent which is nice like it's probably not full of like it's probably really good for sensitive skin then which is nice This is stunning. I've got the Clinique Mascara, Zero Gravity Mascara, which is cool. And then a liquid eyeliner. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna try that tonight. I actually tried this as well. What did Bryony say? That the lady said it only comes off with like hot water or something. Like you need to, and it doesn't smudge down your face, which I have had a lot of trouble with. With recent mascaras i've actually bailed on the charlotte tilbury pillow talk and at all my full makeup bag is charlotte tilbury apart from my mascara now i really really didn't like it like it was just down here and it made me look like i had massive black eyes so i'm actually really excited to try it. i'm gonna try these tonight yeah i'm really excited and then i'm gonna put on my eye cream and then i'll take it all off tonight with this balm and i'll let you know what i think of that but yeah guys that concludes what i got for my birthday um yeah i'm just gonna sit back chill look at my balloons because i'm obsessed with them and yeah we'll catch you guys later when we're getting ready for dinner hello guys we are ready i'm wearing this 10 pound dress that lewis got me from zara 10 pound in the sale I couldn't really be bothered with too much makeup tonight, but I have put on that Clinique liquid liner my sister bought me. I don't know why it's taken me 26 years to discover that because it is the best liquid eyeliner I have ever used in my life. Like I literally just stood with a pen and went like this and it just went on so gorgeously. I cannot even explain. The mascara is called like high, high impact mascara. 
Um, it's more of a day-to-day -day mascara, I think. Look at the liner. And the mascara's more of like, it didn't go on as thick. Like, I don't feel like you could replace lashes with this mascara, but it's so nice. And it's meant to not like smudge down the side of your eyes, which I've had major issues with in the past. Yeah, so this is the dress. 10 pounds, not bad at all. I am so excited. Just finishing off the champagne and we're gonna head downstairs for a drink. And Man United won at Wembley, so we're all happy around here. T-E-D. United are the team for me. Nip nap, paddy whack, give the dog a bone. Newcastle. Yeah, they'll go home. <laughs> come on. Right, so we've just come down to the bar. We've got a strawberry, no, a raspberry daiquiri. The strawberries, there isn't many strawberries at the moment. He's basically saying strawberries are extinct. No strawberry season. It's not strawberry season, that's what he said. And Louise has got a pint of tennis, and it's so nice in here. And then out there, you can kind of see the dome bar out there. Yeah, that's where we saw it earlier. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. Give it a try and give us a review. Oh, very nice. Unreal. Nine out of ten. Right, guys. So we're just walking through the cave bar. How stunning is this? It's like a little, it's actually a cave. It reminds me of a cave. <laughs> Funny that, it's a cave bar. It's so nice. Marina, listen in the numbers. If you zoom in over there to the right, they've got it as 1236. I've missed out four and five. <laughs> That's the name of the bar, silly. Oh, <laughs> right, so we're in the restaurant, and because we're staying Sunday, this is the menu. So there's a few things on there. And it's four course, so we get something to start, but neither me or Lewis really picked up what that was. But how stunning is this little restaurant? What's it called? The Pineapple Grill? You almost had a good statement there, but I'm going to say how stunning is my husband. <laughs> anyway. My husband yeah. is beautiful. Pineapple Grill, lovely. So nice. Mm -hmm. Really lovely. Are you ready to order Right, so we have just ordered this bottle of red, Pinot Noir, a glass, a bottle of house red. Really nice. I've Love it. Tried it yet. It's sure really it's nice. Good. You'll like it. Go try it. I'm pretty sure. In front of the whole world. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> you didn't even try it. Yeah, I did. Right, so we just got some hot bread and some butter in this little thing and then we've got this little cauliflower veggie before our starters, which is nice, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. So far so good. Yeah. Right, our starters have arrived. Lewis went haggis, noops and tatties and whiskey sauce. Aye. <laughs> and I've got salmon, potato bellinis and some caper dressing, which is very nice. So we're just going to enjoy that. That cauliflower badgie was so good. Yeah, and the beetroot sauce. And the beetroot sauce, yeah, very nice. Our mains have arrived. Here we go. What have we got? A ribeye steak with chaps, crispy onions and peppercorn sauce. Peppercorn. For those of you that are watching the art, Scottish and um, Doric. Um, crispy onions. <laughs> crispy onions and I've got venison mash and veg. It's quite like a pie to be honest. It looks very nice. Ooh, so far it's a good duck end. Let's go. Right, Lewis is gonna rate his ribeye. So he normally eats fillet. Normally eat fillet, yep, yeah. and probably sirloin as well. I would say ribeye. 8 out of 10 is that what in terms of like the peppercorn sauce was amazing your chips were nice chips were really nice steak was nice rocket and crispy onions were nice so the overall give that an 8 the ribeye's just too fatty for you yeah I was just saying to be like I prefer like a more tender cut it was a bit chewy but say ribeye is supposed to be I just prefer a bit more of a tender cut maybe, so that is why yeah so my dinner was really nice the venison I didn't expect it to be like a pie it was like shepherd's pie so again I would give it 8 out of 10 I expected like mash and then the venison on top and then veg on the side and then gravy or sauce or something but it was all like mushed in like a pie and I would never I'm not a pie person ever it was really tasty just not really what I was expecting but very nice so 8 out of 10 and the venison was melted in your mouth the venison honestly was like melt in your mouth like fall apart 
stock I ordered. Lovely. So, so nice. Right, so I went for the cheese board, which is full. Looks very nice. Some grapes, chutney, and some oat cakes. And Luce went for a shoe bun. We've got some salted caramel ice cream below it, and some dark mousse around it, and that's us. Don't know if there's cream inside, but we'll soon find out. Looks very nice. Yep. Hello guys, how are you all? So, let's turn that down. We are back in the room. The cheese that I just had was amazing. Um, we just kind of sat and like had some more wine and we've brought our wine up to the room and uh, the rest of my strawberry daiquiri. We have just purchased um, to watch the Paul and Fury fight. <laughs> so we are back in the room, just a way to watch um, Tommy Fury hopefully win this fight. <laughs> um, but yeah, tonight was so lovely. The experience I've had at Meldrum House so far is probably 12 out of 10. The, f the staff are so nice. The room is bloody gorgeous. The views are incredible. The drinks have been amazing. The food, the service, everything. And even better, the company. Obviously. <laughs> <Look at you. laughs> Thank well, you for a wonderful birthday. Thank you for tagging me along. <laughs> I have been spoiled rotten. Honestly, I cannot even explain and I can't thank you enough for what a wonderful day I've had. Um, but guys, we'll catch you first thing in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> Let's see how Meldrum House does breakfast. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're all good. doing very well. Are you well? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, yeah, last night, was amazing. I slept so well. Just because there's so many windows, I hadn't pulled one bit of the curtains like right to the end. So there was some light coming through, but that was totally my own fault. Just had a shower. That shower, how good is the shower, Lee? It's amazing. Like you appreciate a good shower when you've gone through a phase of not having one. Well, that's maybe a bit harsh, but you know a good shower, don't you? Yeah, you do. Magic. Would you say that's better than the Thameston one? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Not too well, much between them, to be honest. Not too More much. Space in this one, probably. Yeah, and there's heated flooring in the heated bathroom. Flooring, yeah. So that tops it for me. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously <laughs> these views. Beautiful. We are just gonna head down for breakfast now. Um, I have I haven't been using my crutches really very much for the last two days. I've kind of I've kind of been able to potter without them. But I'm in agony today and I couldn't even get down to the restaurant. Lewis has just gone and grabbed my crutches for me. Really, really struggling and sore today. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you downstairs at breakfast. <laughs> We're back from breakfast. That was so nice. We had a cute breakfast and we had buttermilk French toast with bacon and maple syrup. It was delicious. We just shared, so we did half and half, which was perfect. You know us. We'd you know like us. I'd like to share. And we had some toast and coffee and some pastries, which was really nice. We've just come back to the room. It's 10 o'clock now. Check out, check out is in an hour. Um, we're just going to watch some YouTube on the iPad. The TV channels haven't been that great. There's kind of just STV and CBBS really. Kerrang radio. <laughs> radio. But I'm just a bit of like a love to have watch TV in the hotel room. So it's a bit, that bit's for me. But anyway, breakfast was perfect. We got down just before the rush. So we had great service. But I know there was people that weren't getting offered toast or had to wait ages to order. But we didn't have any of that which was great and look at these men just playing golf i don't know if you can see but like in here <laughs> that's cool we have just checked out it was 
so perfect that stay yeah probably 15 out of 10 for me one of my favorite hotels ever we really like one devonshire gardens in glasgow but i think that room beats one devonshire gardens for i me. would agree yeah, yeah i think it's the views and everything it was so so beautiful so there's all the grounds like the whole golf course and they have paths and everything so you can walk we were going to do that i'm just too sore today on my crutches it would be, it'd be such a nice morning walk the mm -hmm. whole way around but yeah what a perfect stay and what a perfect birthday thank you so much for that i would rate that whole experience a 9.9 .9 out of 10 so it's only because i say there's always room for improvement but that's probably the best hotel stay we've ever had i would say yeah definitely like, everything was amazing the food was so the food was such good quality the staff are amazing everyone was very helpful like this the service was just top notch and it had yeah. the views obviously the domes outside were really nice for that oh, bar, that bar yeah. Like, yeah everything was just so good and it felt very chill just went by too quick as always with so these stays fast. but i would highly recommend this this is the best one we've stayed at ever i would um, say and like it wasn't too busy like yeah Exactly. We didn't have like any commotion, any problem. There wasn't a wedding on or that anything. That probably helps either. that there wasn't a wedding on. Because yeah. I can imagine maybe it would be a bit louder and stuff. A if... bit more chaotic, but yeah. You're welcome. Um, Meldrum House, we're going to be back. I'm going to go home and save up all my pennies. <laughs> and I'm coming back. You better believe it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell. Why? So you never miss a video. That's exactly why. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.